Hey, babe. There you are. Sorry, babe. Didn't mean to startle you like that. She just kind of disappeared from the party back there, and I got a bit worried. You seemed out of it. Is everything all right? Oh, you just wanted some peace to think. I know what you mean. Don't get me wrong. I do adore our lovely host, but they can be a lot, especially after a few glasses of champagne. That's not it? Do you want to talk about it? I've been told I'm a good listener. Babe, how could you say that? Of course I mean it. If there's something bothering you, I'm here to talk to you. I'm not just saying that because I'm supposed to say it. I mean it. Now I'm really worried. Is everything all right? What's this? Oh. Oh, this is the paper from the New Year's Resolution guessing game, where you're supposed to write down a New Year's Resolution on a sheet of paper and put it in a bowl. I guess we got about 20 minutes before they start drawing names from the bowl, and we can guess who wrote their resolutions. Hmm? Hmm? Your paper's still blank? But I saw you in the kitchen with that group of people. All of you were laughing and chatting about completing this. Did something happen? Did someone make fun of your resolution you were going to write down? Who was it? I'll kick their ass. Oh, it's nothing like that. I guess no one's getting their ass kicked tonight then. Do you want to tell me what happened? Okay, so everyone's there and they were talking about and reflecting on last New Year's resolution and the year that passed to write the new one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you started to feel like you just didn't measure up in comparison to everyone else. Babe, I'm so sorry. I feel so terrible now. You wanted to stay home and I kind of dragged you here because I wanted to party and to marry you with you, you by my side. I wanted to show you off to everyone. What? No, you aren't an objective failure. I 100% wholeheartedly disagree with you calling yourself that. You're not ruining this party for me, am I clear? Come on. Say it please, babe. I need verbal confirmation. Thank you. You're a lot more important to me than the stupid party. I hope you know that. I know you don't like PDAs, but I think you need a hug right now. I love you, babe. Doesn't it feel better? You know you can tell me anything. I didn't know you felt that way, babe. For me, New Year's Eve is one of the best nights to party of the year. Time to reflect, a time to tone down for the next year. I was so excited that I didn't even stop to consider how you felt about it. When you say it like that, I can understand where you're coming from, saying that this one holiday should set the tone for the rest of the year. It's unreasonable. If one night doesn't go well, kind of saying that the next 365 days will be a disappointment, which is completely ridiculous. I see, there's a lot to focus on tonight. And when you look over the past year, you see a lot of disappointments when you compare your own achievements to everyone else's. Babe, I said this already. You're not a failure. When we're together, I made a promise to kick the ass of anyone who insults or hurts my babe. If you don't stop with that kind of talk, I might have to kick your ass tonight. The first thing we're going to do is look at everything you've accomplished this year, no matter how small. More importantly, you need to avoid comparing yourself to others. Life isn't a competition. You need to focus on you and your achievements, regardless of others. <laughs> no, babe, don't be too hard on yourself. I wanted to lose 10 pounds this year, but uh, I only lost 5, so I see that as an absolute win for me. It's not a failure. Well, maybe saying it's an absolute win is a bit much, but it's still a win. I can see you're feeling a little bit better now, babe. Now that I know how you feel, I was thinking about next year. We don't have to attend a big party with lots of people. Maybe we could stay home and watch some movies alone, or host a small get-together, or sleep over with some close friends. How's that sound? So, do you want to head home now? Like I said, you're more important to me than any party. <laughs>